In this video, we're going to learn about the Context API. The Context API provides a mechanism for components to communicate data between each other without passing them as props through the component tree. First, we're going to talk about when we would use the Context API, and then we'll learn how to use it. So imagine we have a simple application built with components like this. You can see we have our root component, home page, and within that component are three child components, header, article, and footer. The header component has its own child components, logo, title, and nav, and nav also uses a child component, link. This example visualizes nested components as they may appear in a very simple project. Let's assume that we want the link components to display the value of page title, which is declared in the root component home page. Using the knowledge we have from previous videos, we can achieve this by passing page title as a prop to each component. For example, to get page title to the link component, we will have to first pass it to the header, then to the nav, and finally to the link component. So even though the header and nav component don't need page title, we have to send it to them in order for them to pass it to the components further down in the tree that do need it. Now in this example, that may not seem so bad, but imagine if this were nested 10 levels deep, or even more, as it may be in a real project. That would become a headache to implement and will make debugging very confusing in the future. Wouldn't it be nice if we could make page title directly available to the component without having to forward it through the component tree as props? This is where the Context API comes in handy. The Context API provides us with a way to pass data through the component tree without having to pass it manually as props. The Context API offers two methods, setContext and getContext, which can access data associated with a key on the context. A component can call setContext, passing in the key and some data as params, and this context becomes available to any of its child components through the use of getContext. So let's learn how to use a context API in a real life example. Here in our index page, we see we're importing a new component collection card that displays a highlighted collection, in this case, new items. New items is an array of products defined in our index page and passed into this component as a prop. If we migrate into the collections card component, we see we are importing another component items grid, which we are again passing our items into as a prop. Finally, we're actually using the value of our items prop in this component. So let's use the context API to set the value of our items in our root component and get that data in our items grid component without forwarding it through the component tree as props. Now, in order to get the value of new items from our root component into this component, we first need to provide the context value in our root component. So let's move back into index.svelte and import the setContext function that's provided to us by Svelte. Now in our script, we can invoke set context, which accepts two arguments, the key and the value. The context object can be anything. However, one thing that's important to know is that set context, as well as get context, must be called during component initialization. Calling it afterwards will throw an error. So for example, it could not be called in onMount, which if you're not familiar with what onMount is, we will cover this in a future video. So now we have set our context, where the string new items context is our key, and we're setting its value to that of new items. Now we're no longer gonna need new items to be passed into our component as a prop, so let's remove that. And so let's also remove this prop from our collection card component. And now we can go back into our items grid component and get the new items context value. To do this, we will import the get context method from Svelte, and we can then use this method to get the value of our new items context like this. If we check back in our browser, we can see the value of new items is successfully being displayed. To double check, we can change the value of our new items in our root component. So let's move back into index.svelte and change this title from t-shirt to graphic tee. And looking back, we see that our component updated. And if we remove this bomber from our bomber jacket, we see now it just says jacket. So now we know how to pass data from a parent component to child how to bind data between components, and how to pass data from a child to a parent. In the next video, we'll learn how to pass data between nested components.